I'm here with Oliver Luck, the commissioner of the XFL. And so, Oliver, tell us what we have going on here today. This is the final showcase out of all of the eight cities. So we've done a showcase in each of our eight markets. Think combine, right? So lots of drills. We've had uh, we've had about 150, 145 players out here, and they're now throwing inside the. Uh, the old Rams practice facility, a bunch of wide receivers and, and pretty good quarterbacks and defensive backs going through drills. So uh, these are all players that are effectively trying out for our league. They would like an opportunity to play in our league. Many will have an opportunity to play in our league. We'll put a number of these guys in our draft pool and uh, they'll be supplemented by probably a little bit of a higher caliber player which will come uh, from the NFL cuts in September. So Labor Day, NFL teams, all 32, cut down from 90 to 53. There's a boatload of players, as you'd suspect, who are available for our league who get cut. Uh, so between you know this group that we've looked at over the last six, seven weeks and the cuts coming in September, we'll have a pretty deep pool of talent. I'm, I'm, I've been very happy with the quality of the guys that we've seen at all of these showcases, including today. Well, speaking of the quality of talent, I mean, I was just looking at the roster and there's a lot of names that I recognize. I'm sure a lot of college football fans, even NFL fans, will recognize Trent Richardson being one yeah, of them, yeah. Connor Cook that played yeah, for the Raiders yeah. as well, and even some that, you know, were SEC players, a Mizzou player out here as well. So it's going to be names that people will recognize. Now. Absolutely. So, you know, at, uh, at the showcase up in New York, who showed up but Hakeem Nix, uh, right, owns two Super Bowl rings with the Giants. And I asked Hakeem, I said, hey, man, why, you know, why do you want to play? He said, well, I, number one, I love Kevin Gilbride, who's the coach of our New York franchise. And number two, I just want to play football because I love the game. And so you, we've had plenty of guys that have had significant NFL experience. Uh, Robert Meacham, great wide receiver for the Saints, was at the showcase in Houston. Landry Jones, who uh, was uh, Ben Roethlisberger's backup for a number of years in Pittsburgh, I don't know, six, seven years, and you know, Landry was at the showcase in Dallas. So there, there are plenty of guys like that with significant NFL experience. And I think that's great because it gives us some older guys who can really help mentor some of the younger guys because there'll be a bunch of young first, second year guys uh, that players or fans may not necessarily know all that well. But that mix, I think, is going to be really good for our league. Since we last spoke to you, now the coaching staff has been put together yep. here for XFL St. Louis. And so some names that people recognize there, too, and especially a St. Louis Ram on this. Yeah, staff. Oz is, uh, I, I talked to him at length last night. He's delighted to be back, you know, in this great city and you know, back working with, with football. So uh, th there's a lot of connections, as you could imagine, you know, between the coaching staffs that uh, we have in, in, in the local community. So it's, it's true of Dallas and, and, and D.C. And, and, you know, Seattle, Jim Zorn, great Seahawks quarterback is the head coach for our Seattle team. But uh, it's exciting to see a guy like Oz come back here and, and we relived a lot of the great moments and, you know, some of his bad moments too when he had that terrible hip injury and was out for a while. Uh, but, you know, it's guys like that that really understand a community like St. Louis and understand, the, you know, how deep the football roots really go in this city and how, you know, upset folks were when, when uh, you know, the, the Rams left. And even before that with the Cardinals. I'm old enough to remember, you know, actually playing against the old Cardinals in old Bush Stadium, Jim Hart and, and, that, and that group back in the, in the 80s. Uh, so we're excited about all the connections that we have with, with the city. That's, that's very important for us. So we are 210 days away from kickoff. What is left, especially here in St. Louis, to make sure that everything's in place and ready to go? There's a lot still to do, as you can imagine. Uh, so we're focusing on football players, and we'll get those guys you know, signed and get our draft done. But on the, on the business side, on the fan side, uh, we've named our team president, Kurt Hunsicker. He's building up his, his staff of, of folks. We need to sell tickets, get local corporate support. Uh, you know, deal with the community. I was in town Thursday and Friday and met with a whole bunch of civic folks from the Regional Business Council to Civic Progress to the mayor uh, to lots of corporate leaders with, you know, Centene and Worldwide Technology and other big companies. And the response was incredible, right? People really are excited about this. Uh, they're so glad that the XFL is back, you know, as a league, but very happy, of course, that St. Louis is one of our, one of our you know, cities. So we're, we're, we're very excited about this. We uh, have a lot to do still. Uh, but we're, we're on track to, to build and, and launch a really successful, sustainable league. All right. Thank you so much, Oliver. Appreciate your time.